Shelley, and thank you to this group for this honor and this opportunity. It is truly a joy for me to tell you how the Tennessee College of Applied Technology next door retrained me for a career I've always wanted. As long as I can remember, I wanted to build things. As a child, I built forts and tree houses, and as I got older, I was more interested in larger structures, garden, garden architecture, um, sheds and greenhouses and chicken coops. And with that in mind, I thought that I would become a landscape architect. I went to college at Princeton University, where I studied art history with a concentration in landscape architecture, particularly the architecture of the 18th century in England. And I, I read and wrote about the most beautiful gardens in the world for four years, but after four years in the Ivy League, I graduated and still didn't know how to build or plant a single thing. So instead of becoming a landscape architect, I became a journalist. And I, I wrote about business and eventually I went back to the Owen School at Vanderbilt to get an MBA to become a more capable business reporter. I eventually married another very capable business reporter and we had three children. And then it was the blink of an eye, 25 years had passed. And one day I told my husband, you know, I'm, I'm not doing the work that I had set out to do in the first place. I knew that to change from journalism to anything else, particularly construction, I was going to need a lot of help. So I drove next door to the Tennessee College of Applied Technology at Nashville, and I asked them to teach me to build buildings. And for the next 16 months, I climbed up ladders and onto roofs and into dumpsters, and I wired circuits and soldered copper, and I went to Skills USA in Chattanooga, where I won a gold medal in Teamworks framing a small house. And when I got home from Chattanooga, my children gave me a circular saw for Mother's Day. <laughs> I started a small business making wooden games, and when I graduated in December, I got a job at the Wills Company, which is a local design build firm. And every day I go to work very near to here, and I learn more and more about building the types of structures I always wanted to make. So I realized that I changed the path of my life in technical school, and I had the absolute time of my life doing it. When I transitioned from journalism to construction, I naturally thought that I would stop writing things. But as it turned out, every day I would come home from school and the things I had seen at school that day were so interesting and inspirational and heartwarming and frankly just hilarious that I started writing them down in a blog. And I called the blog Build Me Up Buttercup because it's always been my favorite song. But also <laughs> the blog was about, it was about building things, you know, helpful hints like measure twice and cut once. But it was also about the people and experiences who were building me up as a person. So I wrote about the Egyptian carpenter who taught our class that we could build things that were functional, but also extremely beautiful. And I wrote about the veterans who were returning from Afghanistan, who taught our class that we could work fearlessly and without complaint. And I wrote about a 16-year-old woman who was training to take over her family business, who finally taught me to have confidence in my 46-year-old self. And along the way, an amazing and very unexpected thing happened. People started reading Build Me Up Buttercup. <laughs> And it wasn't just my family and my classmates, but it turned out that people across the country and across the state were reading this blog and they would email me and they'd say, Dear Buttercup, which I loved. <laughs> <laughs> and very often they were women of a certain age like me who had reached a point in their career and wanted to make a big change and it had never occurred to them they could. But more often than not, it was parents of college age students. And they would say, Dear Buttercup, we have a son or a daughter and we don't really think that four-year college is gonna be right for them, but we had never considered a technical education until we stumbled across your blog. And they would ask me questions like, is this experience everything you wanted it to be? And is it affordable? And was it worth your time? And most importantly, they'd say, would you recommend a technical path for our family? And every time, all I could say was absolutely yes. At any point in your life, it is worth exploring new things and particularly a technical education. Because for me, it was not in the Ivy League and it was not at the Vanderbilt Graduate School, but it was at my local Tennessee College of Applied Technology where I finally got the skills and the confidence to do the work that I had wanted to do in the first place. I have written a lot of stories as a journalist, but Build Me Up Buttercup, which is the story of the men and women training to build our community, is the best story I've ever had the privilege to write, and it is my honor to be a part of that story, and I look forward to sharing my story with other families across the state in the hopes that it might build them up too. Thank you.